Right, so now we're gonna get to talk about the navigation header. Of course we get it, but uh, yeah, just empty, right? So uh, we wish that we could add some titles or maybe some text or, you know, customize fonts or, you know, put a logo or something like that. And of course we can do it. Now there's two ways to do it. You can do it on the actual component. So when React Native uh, Navigation kicks in, it's gonna detect the properties and it's gonna change it only on that screen. If I do it on users, it's going to apply only on users. But of course, you will do uh, you will be adding all these properties just to one screen. If you want to give a global kind of a styling or uh, properties, uh, you can do it on the app.js. We're going to do it later. First, I'm going to do this one. So how can we, uh, of course, how can, can we do this? So I'm going to say static and I'm going to explain you in a minute. Navigation options. So when uh, the React, Navi React Native Navigation kicks in, it will look for this Marvel, this navigation, static navigation options. Since this is a static, this means that this is will kick in before anything else kicks in. So when uh, React Native Navigation needs to create the header and everything else, before doing anything else, it's gonna grab this and it's gonna create it with whatever uh, stylings or properties you're adding. So again, don't make a mistake with the name because uh, React Navigation is gonna uh, look for this. So for example, I'm gonna say title and I'm gonna say, okay, so we are on the users uh, or maybe user uh, application or screen. So I'm gonna reload the application, go to users and we get users. Now, let me just show you something. I'm gonna reload it on Android and sometimes you're gonna get different things on you know different devices because they are different devices. So yeah, sometimes you will need to make some changes just to you know make them work. But by default, the users on Android it's in the at the left, and by default on iOS it's uh, centered. Of course, we can we can change this behavior just a little bit. Okay, so let me just go back. Of course, we can do much more than this. Let me just take you to the. Uh, Documentation. If you go to configure, configuring the header bar inside fundamentals and you scroll down, you're going to get adjusting header styles. So you get an example of what you can do right here. But don't worry, we're going to do it right now. I'm going to go and do the coma. So you get a property called header style. So header and then style and open and close. So this one, of course, will add a style property just like this to the actual header and I'm now I'm talking about the text or the back you know the background of the header so for example if I go to header style you can add a basic property like background color and say that I want a red or a reddish color so f45 11e is kind of a nice red so if I go to users we get the background and same thing for Android so let me just reload it I'm gonna to go to users and we get it, right? So of course you can pass some properties, style properties to the background of the header. So we get uh, pretty much the same idea for the text inside, right? But it's a little bit different. We get some very specific options. We, can do, we cannot do whatever we want right here and we cannot just add a style. So it says, okay, so header tint color is the property that will manage you know, the uh, color, for example. And then you get the header title style that will manage the type of font, you know, the font family, the font weight, for example, or maybe the color or something like that. Okay, so uh, actually not the color, we get this one for the color. So I'm gonna go back and just do that. I'm gonna go say coma and we want the header and then tint and then color. And I'm gonna say that this one, it's blue. So if I reload it, let me just reload the application, we get it on blue. So we should be getting the same thing on Android. I'm not gonna to keep checking both, just to save time, users, all right? So, okay, what else? With the other one, we can you know uh, make some changes on the font styling. Maybe not the color because we already did it. For, for example, it's gonna be title and then style, all right? Okay, so notice when we do tint, is doing this on pretty much anything, everything we have right here on any font or you know option we get right here. So the title style will only apply to the title. So for example, if I say font uh, weight, 
I'm gonna say, I don't know, bald. I believe it's already bald. Maybe not. Go to users. Yeah, it is a little bit bolder. Yeah. So we could change the color. I never tried it before. Now that I think about we I always get the default color. And I add icons at the top. So I'm gonna say green, see what happens. I'm gonna reload it. And oh, okay, so we get green. So with the uh, st title style, we can modify whatever we want on the, you know, as a font, of course, uh, with the title. All right, really, really cool. Okay, so all of this is happening on the users. If we go back home, we get nothing again. So because this is because we are doing it right here, right? So of course, you could apply the same logic uh, on different components, for example, the home, let's say. So I'm gonna go here and say that, you know, this one is gonna be home. I'm not gonna do the, everything else, just gonna say home. So if I reload it, again, we get home, right? Now the thing is that I will have to add the stylings again and everything again, and uh, you know, it's just, we, we don't do that. What I would like to do is I would like to set up on the app.js um, default configuration for all the headers. Now, uh, after we do so, uh, if you have a specific configuration on this component, this, uh, the default ones will not apply. This one will override whatever default you, you get. So it's really cool. So I'm gonna go to app and remember that we pass to the stack navigator two different arguments. The first ones are the screens. So the second one is kind of a, the default configurations of everything. So if we go right here, we're gonna say coma, we're gonna add, and actually this is the property we need to use, is called default navigation options. Of course, this one is going to be just uh, an object. And this one, it's pretty much what we are doing right here. We could still add header style. We could still change the color. So let me just copy this and paste it inside here. And we're going to see that this works. We get a background color. I'm going to change it to something else, maybe green, so we can tell the difference. Uh, the tint, I don't know, white, whatever. And uh, I'm just going to change the header to bold, but that's OK. So I'm gonna reload the application and we know we get bold and we get header. If we go to users, of course, uh, that it's overriding the main styles. So on Android, again, I believe that I believe this works pretty much the same. This one is really ugly. So what you can do, you can do coma, you can do flex one and let's see if this works. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. So I believe that after the flex, I'm gonna go and say text align just like this. And of course we can do center because we want to center. So if I reload it, there we go. And on Mac, of course, we get the default behavior, which is centered. All right, so very cool. All right, so let's uh, talk about something else, of course, related to this. Okay, so let me take you to the docs. Right now we are in the docs and you get a bunch of examples that you can actually run this code. And this is gonna take you uh, to a kind of a online simulation now, if you want to render this, they have a queue. If you want to render this as soon as possible, uh, you will need to create an account. Of course, they they, they need to <laughs> they need to get to generate a database, and you know that makes sense. Uh, but of course, if you wait the queue at the end, you're gonna get it right here. But you know this is not what I want to show you. So right now we get the docs and all the information, the guides with some examples, and then you get the API. So on the API you're going to get information of what you can do. Navigation actions, the stack actions. What we care right now is the create stack navigator. So if I go to this one, you're going to get a bunch of information of what you can do, which options you get uh, with the stack navigator. I'm going to write, I'm going to start all the way to the top. So uh, whenever we create right here, we get the route configs and that's what we are doing, the route configs. And then you get the navigator config. So again, the configurations. So uh, right from the start, they give you, okay, you can create a profile with the screen, with the path and navigation options. So right from the start, we were doing the navigation options on the actual component. What you can do, you can do it on the actual path, on the actual route config. You can do coma right here and do navigation options, for example, and do it on the home screen. So I'm gonna say navigation options. We get the context and we bring navigation. We will talk about this in a few sections, don't worry. And I'm just gonna delete this and gonna say uh, home, just home, 
right now we are defining the home right here so if i comment this out and reload the application we should be getting the same thing right and we do the only difference is that now we are defining the default for this specific screen inside the uh, the route configs all right let's go back to the docs now the next one is going to be navigator config and this one is what uh, actually we've been doing so we get the initial route name we actually are using that one so you can get guess what it is then initial route params if you want to pass params this is where we do it the initial route key if you want to add an id then the default navigation options is what actually we are doing right here with all the stylings and everything else and then you know we get maps but that's okay now later you get a bunch of other properties of course we are not going to go through all of this i'm just going to show you a couple and uh, uh, some of them we will use on the practice uh, project just going to show you a couple so just so you can uh, see how to apply this visual options so for example it says right here mode so if you go to the application reloaded uh, and i go to users we can see that the default behavior is kind of a fading at the top on the header and sliding, you know, the, to the screen. So you can set set this up. You can say, okay, I want to cart at a modal. You can default, you can disable the default and go to this ones. For example, I'm gonna go and say mode, and notice that this one goes after the navigation options. I have it right here. I was testing it, of course. So uh, if I go right here and say reload. We get the go to users, so we get the other kind of transition. And it says iOS and Android screen transition. This is the default. So if I go to model, model, uh, I'm sorry, model. That's what that's the, the one we get. Sorry for that. It's kind of nice. And then we get the other one, which is the cart, which is the default one. If I go cart, we should be getting the default one. Right. So very cool. You get two choices. Not a lot, but you know. And, it's, and it says modal makes the screen slide from bottom blah, blah 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 only works on ios so you could set the uh you know the other one the modal and on android will not apply at all like i told you sometimes you just go with the flow and whatever works on android works and whatever works on uh you know the other one works all right so of course you get some other options let me just check a few ones you get the header mode which is, uh, you know, how the header is going to be animated. Let, let's just give it a try. So I'm going to do header mode and I'm going to do float. It says render a single header that stays at the top, right? Kind of a, makes sense. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go and I'm going to reload the application. I'm going to go to users and we pretty much get the same. And it's because this is the a common pattern for iOS. Let's go to screen and at one point, you're not going to notice, the, you know, a lot of differences, right? So it's pretty much like the other one. And this is the one we care. Sometimes, and all, you know, all the explaining led, <laughs> led to this. So uh, most of the times, let me just disable this. Most of the times, you're going to be working on an application where you don't want a header. So maybe on this section, you want to disable the header, or maybe on the whole application, you're going to disable the header. And at one point, you're going to enable it back. And this could happen when you have a login screen where the user needs to log in, for example. You don't want the header. You just want to enter user, enter name. And after uh, the user, then you're going to go to home or you know a different screen, and you're going to enable the header back. So this is you know one way to do it. So let me show you a couple more I kind of uh, use in the past. And it's this one, on transition start and on transition end. So you can chain a callback or you can put a callback uh, that will be invoked after the transition start, the transition starts and the transition ends. And this is because of course the user is going from screen to screen and sometimes you need to trigger some logic to do something on the background or you know just uh, again run a function uh, to do something. So of course, again, this is just a function. So if we just run a function, uh, maybe on alert, I don't know, uh, this one is the start. I'm gonna say start, whatever. So I'm gonna go to the application, gonna do, gonna go, and we get the start. So maybe after the application starts, you want to make a network request and inject some property so you can totally do that. That's why we get this callback. You know, it's kind of important. All right, okay. So you can uh, you can go through the documentation 
and play around with this visual options, but this is all it is. It's just visual options. Then we get other options, for example, the navigation options. And these ones are more kind of a, uh, the configuration styles, like the logo and everything else, you know, header back image and everything else. Let's talk about this for a second.